Hey guys, um, I noticed today uh, when I started using Final Cut Pro, uh, Final Cut Pro 10 that is, that there's nowhere online that tells you how to remove um, the black bars that tend to be there when you like record things from video games with a capture card. Uh, I use a Dazzle myself and I use Pinnacle Video Capture right here. Um, so I, I was looking for a very long time trying to figure out how to do this. Uh, and I finally found a way. Um, I'm going to show you how it is to do that, just so that you don't spend hours. Well, <laughs> yeah. I spent a while trying to um, figure out just how to remove those bars. Uh, because obviously when you upload a video to YouTube, it looks much nicer if there's no bars on the left and right sides. Um, so it's a pretty simple thing to do. Uh, I'm going to use, let's see as soon as Pro starts up here. Okay, uh, this is a clip, a Modern Warfare 3 clip that I uh, recorded a while back uh, with my Dazzle Capture card. Nothing HD, nothing fancy. Okay, uh, I'm going to show you first of all the project preferences. Uh, no, project properties. Okay, so I'm in 1280 times 720, uh, 1280 by 720 resolution. My frame rate is at 29.97, which is just NTSC standard um, st uh, stereo audio at 48 kilohertz. Uh, make sure it's in stereo because if it's in surround, it will not upload to YouTube properly. So anyway, to show you exactly just how to do this, it's really simple. Um, obviously, right here, you can see the bars. They're not pretty, not pretty at all. All right, you want to go to video properties or just whatever. Make sure that this is open. Uh, now down here where it says transform, um, you're going to click on this box thing and then all the little borders will show up with the blue little dots. Now all you're going to want to do is drag one of them, um, not the vertical ones, not the ones in the corners, just the ones directly on the sides. All you're going to want to do is grab one of them and just drag it out. And just drag it out until it fills your screen and it'll do it. Uh, on itself, it'll snap to your screen actually, so you don't have to waste time trying to do that yourself. And as you can see here, um, it really does help because I can play the clip now. No black bars, the aspect ratio is the same, everything quality standard is maintained, and yeah. I already uploaded this video to YouTube without the black bars. So if we go over to YouTube right now, to my channel, as soon as my internet loads, <laughs> uh, look here. The rest of them that I tried to do this to today all had the black bars on them, uh, and I tried a lot of things to get those to go away but the transform option is finally what did that for me. So as you can see here, it's not stretched, doesn't look anything uh, out of the normal, it just looks, you know, pretty proper, and it's not in HD or anything fancy like that, but the quality's not bad um, for what I'm trying to do. I do render mine in HD, that's just to make myself feel better about myself, and I make the resolution a little bit higher than it would be. Um, but yeah, that's that's how you remove the bars, and that's how you make your uh, videos not look like crap, because YouTube will do that to you. Uh, so anyway, I hope that this was helpful. Um, if you have any more questions on Final Cut, do leave them in the comments or message the channel, um, because I am just learning to use it, but I will make any videos uh, that I need to, describing to you guys uh, just how to solve your problems. Uh, so yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, this is Alias of Cross Current Gaming, and I'll uh, see you guys later.